Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Halfway Ever Actor, etc. And I am back today with another Cricut project. So today I'm actually taking the resin hearts that I made in last week's tutorial and I'm going to be making the Cricut signs that I designed free SVGs for to work together. So my little resin hearts will fit perfectly on, I think there's like 10 designs. They all are compatible and I made two of them. I picked my favorite two. You may pick a different favorite two. That's the perfect part of SVGs. And I whipped up some little signs for them with my Cricut. And then I put the little resin hearts on them. So this is actually a very easy project. We're working with premium vinyl, which is a basic level Cricut skill. So if you have never used a Cricut before, if maybe you got one as a gift, and you've never broken it out of the packaging, you're scared to use it, this is the perfect project to try because it's very easy. And if for some reason, I don't know what it would be, resin scares you, this is a beginner level resin project, but you can skip the resin. I've included the little heart SVGs as well. If you just wanna cut those out of vinyl and skip the resin portion altogether, but I think once you see the signs with the hearts and the Cricut decals, you will be as in love with it as I am. So we're gonna jump right in. For this project, we're going to need a sign blank. Sorry, my dog just like tripped or something. Um, you can buy sign blanks like off of Amazon. I'll link those below. I tend to go to like Hobby Lobby or the thrift store and I find really cute signs that just maybe aren't the right style and I paint them just white across the board and there you have it, a sign blank. So you're gonna need some sign blanks, you need some vinyl. I used black vinyl for the letters and then if you wanna do the hearts, maybe a different color, pink or red maybe. You're gonna need your Cricut. I'm using my uh, Maker, but you can use an Explore Air 2 or a Joy for this project. Now, if you're making a larger sign, one of my signs is like 12 by 17. A joy would be a little harder because you'll have to splice the pieces together, but it is possible. You also just need that fine point blade, which I thought was in here, but it's not. So there it is. That's the standard fine point blade. And some transfer tape. Other than that, if I've forgotten anything, the full supply list will be down below and we are going to jump right into this project. Let's get started.
right, y'all? What do you think? So I am absolutely in love with how this turned out and I will zoom you guys in so you can really see the resin hearts. But I think they just completely make this project. Either way, I picked my two favorite SVGs. Welcome to Cupid's Bed and Breakfast. And I love us with the little arrow. And I wanted to use the hearts on both ones. I picked my favorite little conversation hearts when I did those. So they're perfect. Pity. <laughs> it's time to play. Um, for Valentine's Day and the vinyl, this part, oh my God, you guys, like you saw, but But it was like ridiculous to weed, okay? I think probably the hardest weeding project I've done in a long time. But if you go slow and you're meticulous, it's not hard, it's just a little tedious. And it's 100% worth it. So, easy peasy. If you would rather skip the tedious parts, I have plenty of designs in this kind of style that's the thicker fonts, super easy to weave, not nearly as difficult, and they all coordinate. So either way, those are free files. You can grab them below. I just love how they turned out. We're going to go play some squeaky toy now, and I hope y'all enjoy this project. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on the notifications. I will be back next week with more projects. Bye y'all.